Hi, my name is Adam, and today we're going to go from looking like this to looking like this for your online meetings, conferences, and more with the Roland VR1 HD. Let's start. So in today's video, I'm going to run you through 5 general steps of setting up the Roland VR1 HD to achieve this look and sound. But before that, let's have a look at all the equipment that I am using in today's setup. We're going to start out with the Roland VR1 HD with its USB 3.0 cable and of course its power supply. Then we have a laptop. And then we have our main camera, which is a Sony A6000 with a 50mm lens. We have a 7-inch portable screen. We have 3 HDMI to HDMIs, 2 short ones and 1 long one. We have 1 micro HDMI to HDMI. We have a female to female HDMI converter. We have a Rode lapel mic. And we have the converter for Mini TRS to XLR. Now that we have everything ready, let's start. Step 1. Set up your workstation to your convenience. For me, I have the laptop on the right, I have the VR1 HD on the left, and the monitor on the left. Step 2. Connect all your cables. I'm connecting camera 1 into input 1, laptop into input 2, monitor out to my portable monitor, and the USB to the laptop. Try to make sure all the equipment is off because some cables do carry a charge which can damage some of your equipment. Now that everything's plugged in, let's move on to the next step. Step number 3. Turn everything on and log into your computer. So now that everything is set up, let's log into the RCS software for the Roland VR1 HD and get everything set for your presentation. So I'm just going to launch the RCS software. And as we can see, it's not very big, but I'm going to click on zoom and click on 150% and enlarge it. So now if I click on the menu icon, everything that I need comes out on the left hand side and becomes very convenient. So next we're going to connect. So we're just going to click on connect. So it's going to prompt me as to where I'm going to get my data from, whether I want to get it from the RCS software or whether I would like to get it from the VR1 HD or whether I would like to use the software offline. So since I already have some settings on the Roland VR1 HD, I'm going to click on the VR1 HD. So the next thing I want to have a look at is the audio. So I'm going to click on audio mixer. So as you can see, I already have my microphone in input 1. If I click on setup, you can see this is the gain that I already have. On the EQ, I have a high pass filter, a little bit of a notch in the mids, a little bit of a shelf on the highs. Of course, I will probably be re-EQing this in post later. In the dynamics, I just have a little bit of a compression just to take the edge off. So now that your clients or colleagues can hear you loud and clear, let's have a look at the picture in picture because I'm going to do a little bit of a presentation later. So the picture in picture section is under the scene section. So I'm going to click on scene A. And in that scene, you can see I have my window. So I can actually arrange my picture in picture to be anywhere I want on the screen. I can choose my background, which is input 2, which is the laptop and I can choose my window channel. So right now, I'm going to turn on the picture in picture. So you can see me in the corner. So as I said, I can actually put the picture in picture anywhere I would like to in the image. I'm probably going to leave me at the top right corner. Now that we're done with that, we just close it and it's automatically saved. Now that the RCF software is all set up, you're ready to go and log into Let's Try Zoom. So I'm just going to minimize the RCF software and we're going to launch Zoom. So now that we've launched Zoom, let's start a new meeting. And immediately the camera pops up. And it's actually that easy. It doesn't matter whether you're using Zoom. Oops, it's asking me to join with computer audio. It doesn't matter whether you're using Zoom, whether you're using Google Meet, whether you're using OBS, vMix, Twitch, YouTube or Facebook. This is exactly how the Roland VR1 HD works. It is recognized by your computer as a webcam. So all you have to do in case the image doesn't come up, you can just go to the camera icon, click on the camera drop down menu or I guess pop up menu and make sure you have the VR1 HD selected at all times and it's that easy. So now let's say I want to do a presentation. I have a presentation loaded up right now and I need to present it to you. I'm going to hit input 2 and bring my presentation up and then I'm going to hit maybe scene 1 and bring my face back 
So this is my presentation of the Roland VR1 HD, which actually isn't a presentation because this whole video is a presentation. But nonetheless, I just wanted to show off the functions here. So I can go through my whole presentation and walk you through it. For example, this is a diagram of the setup that I'm using today. Camera 1 is going into input 1. The laptop is going into input 2. The HDMI monitor output is going into the external monitor. Microphone is going into port 1. I actually do have a pair of headphones here which I don't have on right now. On the headphone out. And the USB 3.0 is connected to the laptop. And that's the whole setup. For light, I'm just using the daylight that I have here. I don't have any extra lights, so it's quite simple. And that is my big thank you for my little presentation. So as you can see, let me just bring back the screen. So as you can see, using something like the Roland VR1 HD does take it to the next level. You sound better and you look better and it's that simple. But before I leave, I'm going to leave you with a few notes. For the camera, you can use any camera you want as long as it has a live output. If you're using a camera with an SDI output, make sure you use a converter because the Roland VR1 HD only uses HDMI inputs. For the audio, you can use any microphone you want, whether it be a podcasting microphone, maybe a shotgun microphone. I am using a lapel microphone today, uh, which is why you can hear a bit more ambience in my living room because I'm not in a studio. But you can use any microphone you want because the Roland VR1 HD also supports phantom power, so you can use a condenser mic if you want. It's up to you. As for the software, you can use any software you want. You can use Zoom, you can use Google Meets, you can use Facebook, Twitch, OBS, Vmix. It's up to you. I've tried them all, they all work fine. However, do remember, if you have two softwares open, it won't work because whichever software is using it will be dominating the VR1 HD. So you can't have OBS open and also have zoom open at the same time, it won't work. You can actually attach an external recorder to your main output and record the whole thing as you switch it as you go along. So that's it for today. My name is Adam. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. But until next time, stay safe and have a nice day.